everybody welcome back to M in Yanni Bureau so today we have I have a little uh favorite planner supplies as I mentioned in a previous video I use the Hobonichi weeks and I keep my supplies for this very limited so that way I don't have to take a lot of things in my backpack or in my handbag um, and when I'm ready to plan, I just don't have to think about it. I'm very much a minimalist planner and I'll, I'll do like a plan with me, um, probably in a few days or so and upload that just to show you how it doesn't take me that long to plan out my, my week. And I usually do my plans for the next week on either a Saturday or a Sunday evening. And it takes me about 20, 10, 20 minutes tops. But today I'm going to run through my favorite planner supplies particularly for the um, for the Hobonichi weeks. At the end of this video, I'm going to announce the giveaway winners. Again, um, I'll just remind you our two giveaways were for the spring Hobonichi, so the black with white stripes and the pencil board. And the second winner will receive the uh, another spring start, April start with the Uni Jetstream pen that goes really well with the Hobonichi. But I'd, I'll announce the winners at the end of the video. All right, so let's get started here. Favorite planner supplies. I guess we can start with the big stuff, the book, right? So we're gonna start with the book. We're gonna move these out of the way. I'm just gonna push these over here. <laughs> and we're gonna start with the book. So my favorite, favorite planner is the Hobonichi Weeks. One of the reasons I like it so much is because it's just a slim profile, right? It's not too big, it's not too bulky, and it's very easy to take with me. So one of these goes with me on the go. So this one is like my on the go, and I keep it in a Moterm cover. This is my on the go, so I just jot down anything. And this isn't a pretty planner. This is just like jot stuff down. It's not pretty at all. <laughs> it looks pretty as I'm flipping through, but it's not. It's just basically jotting notes down, any... Um, appointments that I have, any important meetings that I have. So I, I put this and as you can see, very slim profile. So it fits in my bag really nicely. I have a second one and this is the Mega. And I use this as my common book. And I'll do a flip through of my common book and a plan with me um, probably in another video. But yeah, this is just my common book. This is my mental health, physical health, emotional health book. And I do a bit of journaling in the back when I feel like it. And it's one of the reasons I don't use a Hobonichi Cousin for the dailies because I just don't do a day, a journal like this daily. I pick and choose when I do it and I, at every month, I just, I block it off. But yes, so my favorite book to plan in is the Hobonichi Weeks. Is not, it is not my only planner book, but it is my favorite to plan in. The next thing that goes along with the Hobonichi Weeks is definitely a pencil board. It could be any pencil board. I like these ones from Hobonichi. I also make my own and I'll put that on the channel later on uh, in an updated video. But I just go with the Hobonichi Weeks ones. Whenever I order a new Weeks for back in September or October, I always pick up either two or three of these one for one or two for how many ever Hobonichi weeks that I have and then one also for my A5. To go along with the Hobonichi weeks, since it's such a slim profile, I don't want to bulk it up. This one will be a little bit bulkier than my everyday carry. One of the things that I love like to use in them are these transfer stickers. This is something else that I'm, I'll be making and putting in my shop. But for now, I use the ones that I get from jet pens and these are the um these are the craft mu series and they're just print on stickers so they don't bulk up your page you just cut a piece out and you rub it on your paper and it transfers on and i really like these and i just purchased these what a week ago and when i do a plan with me you'll see how i use them in my weeks to go along with the rub on stickers i also have these date date stickers whenever i do my journaling in the back since i'm not using a cousin i like to use these just to signify the date that i'm doing the journaling in. and as you can see i used one here and i used one here 
right? And so I think they're really, really nice. They stick in there. They're not too thick. They're not too heavy. They're very lightweight. It feels like a stick-on vellum. And I just go in, I stick this in, and I write on it with another favorite, which is the Pentel sign. Now, this is a Hobonichi exclusive that I got a few years back, but you can get any Pentel sign pen, and it will write really, really well on this. Let me show you an example here. All right? So as you can see, it writes really well, and it just writes on a sticker. It doesn't bleed through or anything like that. I haven't tried using a Sharpie extra fine point on these, but I'm sure it'll work also. So since we already went into pens, I guess we'll continue on with pens or markers. Another set of markers that I like to use are the Tombows. I like to use the Tombow brush pens as highlighters, and or to signify an important date or anything like that. Um, let me see how I use it here. I use it here just for doing some habit tracker to highlight. And the great things about, the good thing about the Tombow is that I can write with my Uni Jet Stream and then go right over it with my Tombow in my Hobonichi Weeks or on the Tomoe River paper. No sparing whatsoever. So I absolutely, absolutely love these. I also use the Zebra Mod Liners, but again, if I'm going to use the Zebra Mod Liners, particularly in the Hobonichi, I have to basically highlight first and then write over it. Sometimes I don't even know if um, what I'm writing will be in enough, what I'm highlighting will be enough space. So I like the Mod Liners for certain things and I'll use them for certain things, but when it comes to favorites, definitely the Tombos. And I have a lot more than this, but these are like my color palette right now for March and April. Okay, I guess continuing on with the marker slash pen, these I absolutely love. This is the Stedla Tri Plus Fine Liner and this is the Stabilo .88 fine 0 0.4 now these pens that i have these two right here and i have more came back from germany with me five years ago and they still write i don't use them like as an everyday thing but i use them when i'm doing my planning setting up they still write they st they're still the points are amazing and let me tell you these things in germany are so inexpensive when i was going to university there i saw all my german friends using this one and using, i was like what is that i'm like i'm spending so much money on buying pilot stuff in germany and then i was like let me just try the german stuff and i really really like it the one problem with this is that if you use it if you're using it as like a daily writer eventually the tip right here and if you can see that eventually the tip right here is going to wear down, but again, I use it two, three times a week, and I've been using this one particularly for about a year now, and this one I've just been using since it's part of my color palette. It goes right nice with the purple, that, and that, and so, yeah, love these. I love German stationery. Again, the whole point of Emignoni Bureau is to look at stationery from all over the world and kind of get out of our comfort zones. And I think Germany has some great, great stationery that we don't get to hear about often or we don't see highlighted on social media often. So I just want to bring that to the forefront. Actually, one of my students came into, into class and he's like, Miss whatever, whatever, you don't know anything about these. I was like, I have a ton of these at home. I have a lot more of these at home. I bought a whole pack when I was coming back. And I know that they sell them on jet pens and on Amazon. But it's so good if you're ever traveling overseas, if you can get your stationery, just a small batch of stationery when you're traveling, always do so, especially from the country that it's made in. So when I'm in Germany, I just pick up a whole bunch of the, um, the Stabilos and the Stedless. All right, so we're continuing on with writing tools. We are going into the pens. Hobonichi, right? These are actually the Hobonichi pens. Okay, so we have this one is for this year, 2023. You can see that. And this one is from 2021. I think this was like the 20th anniversary, right? I have one. I have another one. Oh, here we go. Found it from... <laughs> 
2019. I don't think I got one from 2020. I think 2020 and 2022, I didn't get any uh, Hobonichis. 2022, I reused an old one, so I didn't get a pen from that year. But this one goes with me every day. It goes with this everyday planner. Okay, and I actually just switched out the black ink because it was running low. And all you do, you could just go on Amazon or you can go on Jet Pens and you could just buy the refills. So as you can see, yeah, so the black is full. The blue is running out. The red, not so much. I use the red here once in a while, particularly if I'm doing a plan what's it called if i'm doing a financial planning if i need to put something in red i'll do that but yeah so again this is the 2019 2021 and oops 2023 right now oh, every other year look at that um these are all odd years i didn't even think of that 2019 21 and 23 so no 2020 and no 2022 i did not plan that y'all so I love these pens, and I think they're the best pens to go with the Tomoe River paper. Another pen that works really well, but you do have to give it some dry time if you have the time to spare. And I, I don't use this in my everyday carry. I use it mostly and particularly in my common book. So this is the Uniball Signo DX. This is in the 0.38, and I love this. This is the blue-black, and I use this every night in my five year because this year is the blue black and then next year is the green black so next year i'll be using the green black for the uh, five year journal so it'll be a different color every year so i love these pens and i just need to give them dry time and to go along with these pens i have the refills I love so whenever the, this um this refill is done i just take it out Pop this off, unscrew this, pop it out, and just pop this one in. That's one thing I like about um, certain pens is that I don't want to throw away the whole barrel. It's a waste. It's a, it's going into the landfill. It's plastic. I actually prefer fountain pens, and we're going to get into fountain pens later. But for just regular everyday carry pens, I just prefer ones that have refills and I'd rather spend a little bit more money on a nice body and getting refills than every time the ink runs out, I throw out the pen. So this is the SIG now. To go along with that, my third favorite pen to use in the Hobonichi, on the Hobonichi paper, on the uh, Tomoe River paper, is the Pentel Enagel Klena. Well, I should say the Pentel Enagel ink, right? Because it is the same ink. It's the same, excuse my language, it's the same bloody ink, right? Um, it's just different bodies. So this is the Klena body, which I love. It's very easy on the hand, easy to write with, it's not very heavy. And this is the Pentel Enagel, and I think this one is called the al Alloy, right? So, you know, it's a metal. Okay, and it's a little heavier than the Klena, but it, you, it's the same ink. I got this one I got on Amazon, and this one I actually picked up in a Staples a few years ago, and it actually had the 0 .07 refills. I just took that out because I don't write with 0 .07. It's a little too thick for me, and I put in a 0 .05 refill that I got from Jet Pen. So I really, really love this pen. It's like, it's so beautiful. I mean, look at that. And I tend to leave my stickers on my pens. <laughs> That's just gorgeous. Excuse my alarm. So two more things that I want to go into um, is just some tools, right? So this one I use, this is a, a cutting tool, right? And I use this sometimes if I need to cut a sticker, um, particularly if I'm using these rub on stickers I could just it's easier for me to just take the knife and just go through than with the big scissors or you can use a small scissors but I like using this it's very it come, it's very handy and I can use it it's very sharp <laughs> I could just use it and get a, a bit more of a precise cut this is I got this years ago so I don't even even know if they still have these but it's the scotch brand 
and I think it's called a craft knife. I think that's what it is, scotch craft knife. And the one thing I like about this is that once you're finished, once this blade, this part gets dull, you could just snap it off and you got another one. And I think I've been using this particular one for about three years now and I've only ever snapped off one bit. So they stay really, really sharp. And the last little bit is this uh scotch scotch their some of their stuff is okay <laughs> so i like using this it's a it's a tape runner um it's a double-sided tape runner so it's it's like it's a glue tape runner i don't know what you call them tape glue or glue tape runner and i use this when i'm putting down my dashboard in my um in my common book so this is actually from sterling ink so i just printed it out and paste it in these are just some stickers that I already had on hand and they matched well with her theme for January and I just use this just printed it out on regular printer paper and stick it in so that was January let's go let's look at February this was February right and then March let's look at March yeah and I just use this to tip those in I will be I will be making my own dashboards going forward. They will also be posted on my, in my store again once I get that up running. And once I get that, I'm actually going to bring you guys along with me as I start that. And um, yeah, and I'll have more new planner supply favorites. But yeah, this is this is this is the goodies, right? Okay, so. To end off the video, I did say that I was going to announce the winner or the winners of the two Hobonichi weeks, All right? So we have the life book and we have, well, they're both life books. So we have the black and white and then we have the blue with the pen. So let me just refresh this. I'm looking at my my comments here so in order to enter the giveaway there were um, a couple things that you had to do you had to be subscribed to the channel and then you had to leave a comment right you had to leave a comment telling me what was your favorite uh planner supplies what was your favorite type of planner to use why you like to use it and then tell me which one you would prefer so we have we have two winners oops we have Veronica R. She said, I would choose the blue and pen. Go Veronica. My favorite planner is the cousin, but it is so big, so I don't use it outside my house. Nice video. Since January, I've been using the cousin, so I definitely stuck with my planner. Very good, right? I think when it comes, like December comes around, we kind of get FOMO, fear of missing out. And we buy all these planners and we're like, February and March are like, I'm not using this. Why did I buy it, right? Of that, everybody's posting their favorite supplies. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get into how I get my planners and how I make my purchases at the end of the year. I try not to do FOMO, <laughs> right? And so that is, um, that is, you know, that's how I do mine. And then let's go back here. And the other winner is, let me see where it's at. The other winner is Jessica, I, I don't want to butcher your last name. Jessica S. Cobedo. I hope I said that right. Jessica S. Cobedo. Okay, and Jessica, you'll be getting the black and white with the pencil board. So those are our two winners. We have Jessica Escobado, Escobedo. I hope I'm saying that right. Jessica Escobedo and Veronica R. So I'm guessing ladies, both ladies, I will put the winner down in the description. Um, I will send an email if you have an email attached to your YouTube channel. If not, you can send me an email. My email is attached to my channel. It's mignoniburo at, wait, let me, <laughs> let me make sure. 
m.inyonibureau at gmail.com, right? I'll put that down below for our two winners. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I have a lot more content coming. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.